What's up guys? This is the Rifeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Dead War. Let's play as Great Britain. So to pick up where we left off, our invasion of India has been a smashing success. And these two armies that have landed here in this port just south of Goa are going to push into um, this cluster, cluster of Maratha armies here because the main force is depleted as is the garrison of Goa. And this other force that's coming in is just a general. So there's quite a nice opportunity to knock out all of these troops with one army intact. And potentially move my reinforcements um, north to secure the city of Goa itself. But yeah, as we can see, not a lot to worry about there. There's one reinforcing army that's a full army and one that's just a general. So we need to keep an eye out for that. And our force is pretty darn capable. So let's get into the battlefield and let's see how the deployment of troops looks. Um, but it's quite promising actually that a lot, like all of the. Uh, both of the main Mughal armies that we've seen were actually depleted, and this is before we've actually been fighting them. So maybe they might have been suffering from some uh, attrition from financial losses, hopefully exacerbated by our blockade of the coast. Okay, the terrain is not particularly favourable. So I'm going to drop my guns back here to engage from range. These are fusiliers, so I probably want to put my fusiliers in the centre. Two units of infantry and a unit of guards on each flank of the fusiliers. Irish volunteers are going to go on the left flank. Highlanders on the right flank. Put down a block of cavalry, put some down some more cavalry on the left, drop my howitzers. And I my sharpshooters will also be on the left. So I might actually push my line up from a overall deployment zone perspective. We're not oops, my general's over here. Probably wanna, as we've got the advantage, push my cavalry up, get my infantry to advance, but also get my Highlanders over onto that flank there. Where's my sharpshooters? Sharpshooting! Take position here. So they are lancers, so let's get my regiment of horse in against the lancers, get my heavy cavalry charge to the mass of infantry over there. The howitzers that are dropping quick climb can focus on the infantry and the pikes. My guns are focusing on their guns, we've knocked out one of their gunners. My regiment of horse should win against the Lancers. I want to get my Highlander warband over there to support my cavalry, my heavy cavalry. Push my infantry up to this high ground. My Irish volunteers are. Hold the left flank of the sharpshooters. At the very well, to be honest, the lancers once they've charged should be easy pickings to all of my cavalry. That's why I want to get my Highlanders in though to provide a bit more support. Some lancers coming, so I'm going to get my sharpshooters to deploy the square. Our line infantry is starting to open up on the enemy. The general's bodyguard is not charging, thankfully. Drop into square because the lancers are coming. Unfortunate from a firepower perspective, but my guards are going to do enough damage for us. So my cavalry, Curiosity Air advance. A good number of the lancers should fall on our spikes. Not enough. 
should really have let them stay still and take the volley, but you men form up, let the sharpshooters continue to run towards my cavalry. And I'm not going to charge my... I'm not going to charge my um, Irish volunteers into them because they're already slowing down. They've only picked off about a dozen or so of my sharpshooters. Keep the sharpshooters fleeing. Enemy cavalry on the flank is breaking. The dervishes are upset. Let's get my howitzers working on the general's bodyguard. There's a unit of dervishes on the flank, but they will probably not be alive for too long to do too much bad news. They're going to engulf this regiment of foot, but they've got a guard unit nearby. Should help be required. Sharpshooters get back into formation. That unit of lancers is shattered. Regiment of horse charge, Highlander warband charge. Heavy cavalry advance the flank. So my artillery here is no no longer in a great position. So let's limber up. Got a clash between the dervishes and the highlanders. Yep, I think my cavalry is going to win that action. Okay, so let's get my... Oh no, they're... No, they're, they're shattered as well. Let's pivot. We killed their general. Let's advance up our right flank. You men should chew through them fairly conclusively. So my guns pivot up onto the high ground back here. Sharpshooters fire at will. Pour volleys into that general's bodyguard unit. Sucking up all their hit points. Howitzers begin to engage. The enemy troops entering the field. I'm waiting. There we go. Could charge them down, but I'm not overly worried. Irish volunteers are doing some good work. They're, all, they're, they're more than enough to see off a general's bodyguard unit, especially one that's not actually positioned to fight us. Let's let our regiment of horse pursue that unit of Highlanders. That unit of Dervishes, sorry. Retarget. Landless rabble. Let's hold off of these chaps and then attack the landless rabble there. Oh, the dervishes want to charge in. If a unit of foot guards, which is not advisable. Dervishes are charging. Quicklime comes in and clears them out. That's enough of their assault. Yeah, another volley to the rear of the landless rebel. There they go. So you men get back and reload. Irish volunteers push up a little bit to improve their firing arc. Skirmishes advance up on the left. Curiosier go wide. Let's just set these units to run because we've got a unit of landless rabble attempting to push that flank. I mean, I don't think we have much to worry about from the enemy. Landless rabble's coming in. Fusiliers are opening up. But it's not going to be a great set of volleys due to the... Oh no, there we go. They've, they've crested the hill. Oh no, this red on the foot. Yeah, they are reloaded. To charge into the musket smoke. Nope. 
sharpshooters are just clearing out. But they're just doing very well. These three units form up. My how it's my foot feel foot artillery to the rear. Let's unload. Take my fusiliers and kink them up like so. Because they're probably gonna try and charge the flank. Yeah, I mean to be honest, lots of these units are chaff to the highest chaff of the highest order. Yep, there they go. Yeah, they just routed. Fusiliers advance. All my infantry advance. Skirmishers. Stay out on the wing. More plenty of volleys. Oh, and the foot artillery opened up. Let's bring the heavy cavalry over. They've still got quite a good number of their men left. Focus all our artillery, or foot artillery, onto this unit of dervishes. Ah, the howitzers are also going to switch to round shot. But you can't really rely on these units because they cannot they cannot reliably get to the front line. They're okay if they're on the flank, maybe, and heavily supported, but yeah, the volleys are crashing in. So take these three units, push them up to the higher ground. You guys chase down the dervishes. Ooh, these dervishes on the flank think they're going to get into position. I well, think they might get to my line before I finished uh, adjusting. I don't think that's going to be the case. Sharpshooters have got a perfect location to fire at you from relative safety. I think the volleys are going to be crashing home though. Yep, there they go. Okay, all my gunners focus on this general's bodyguard unit all the way back here. Take them out because everyone else is going to get ground down by our magnificent firepower. You chase down a unit of dervishes. A few more kills for them. It's not bad. Hmm, some of the dervish, some of the landless units came back, but I doubt they're going to be around for long. If you think you want to get away with charging my skirmishers, you've got another thing coming. So there's a bunch of cavalry right here who would just love to make your acquaintance. Especially once these chaps have reloaded. Yep, yeah, there it goes. There, there go the volleys. Yep, yeah, they've been chased off. General's bodyguard's been routed. Got all my guns engaging that landless rabble out on the flank. I'm not interested in annihilating them. Oh, some artillery coming in, another unit of dervishes. These units can just blast that unit of rabble with volleys. I, mean, I doubt they're going to stick around for very long. Nope. So, let's ratchet my front line forward again. Unit of armed peasantry. My howitzers are no longer useful, so, re so let's limber them up. Get my guns to focus on their foot artillery. Another unit of dervishes. Unit of mortars. Some more dervishes. I think that's it. There's no one else coming in. These are all landless rabble that have routed. Oh no. More dervishes. Yep, 
Well, soon this unit of armed peasantry will be sent packing. Then we can ratchet the left flank forward as well, again. Everyone's pouring fire in. Come on, they won't stand. Two hundred eighty-three men remaining. We're not even doing that badly from an ammunition perspective. Let's trundle the howitzers forward. Doesn't really matter where to. They're probably going to be out of it. Gunners, focus on the dervishes, because the artillery I don't think is going to be... Well, no, you may as well focus on them. Hey, you might be able to wipe out this unit of dervishes. So only seven of them left. I know, there they go. So let's try and do my heavy cavalry back. still walking in so this army's still got some guts behind it but I don't think it's going to uh, help them okay let's straighten up this kink because this unit of fusiliers can't actually engage the peasantry yeah bunch of free kills there charge my cavalry in Routing, routing, routing. Beautiful stuff. Just push up aggressively. Bring my heavy cavalry in. Dervishes are getting chopped to pieces by my regiment of horse. Quite an experienced cavalry, actually. Sharpshooters not being used in the long range skirmishing role that they would like to be used in. Now, today's not doing so well in the counter battery task. Hello, there's Pikeman. Charge my heavy cavalry into them just to do damage. Oh, the, there we go. Their uh, army is done. They've got some... their guns are still left, but... Just take the opportunity to do as much damage as we can. It's just units like their pikemen. Because this is the garrison at Goa. It's come in to resupport. I mean, there's another unit of Curaciaro I definitely haven't really used. Fine, attack the mortars. But let's speed up time. Kill the mortar crews. The artillery isn't so bad, but let's just knock out their knock out their mortars. There we go. So that will well, that's quite a significant blow actually to the enemy. So that's pushed back you and the garrison at Goa. So now this force under Dominic Tully to march to Goa, demand the surrender of the territory. So Goa is ours. Let's repair the magistrate. Let's build a. Government building, we can repair the trade port, a, pro a prosperous trade port at that. So Mr. Brophy, advance and replenish. Here at Mysore, there are limits as to what they can achieve. Um, what I might do, actually, is if I take Queen's... If I could take a cavalryman out, Dale Wolf, recruit general. So Dale Wolf, former cow uh, former dragoon cavalryman. He can try and recruit some dragoons to his force, which will be chiefly about garrisoning. It's going to take a long time, but. Well, I think it must be this one here. Yeah, so I might actually stop recruiting all these sepoys here. 
we can actually recruit a couple of militia for this garrison, but actually start to try and recruit some um, dragoons for this force. So you, who took our cot, is driving hard towards Hyderabad because they're currently not garrisoned. Here at Orissa, everything's been taken, it's done quite well. Got another army here. More orders, Lord. Which. Yeah, apparently only one arm, one unit took the uh, advice to push forward up to Akbarabad. We can upgrade you. We're upgrading this chap to a church school. So Patna is going to be a craft workshop, and we're going to upgrade the brothel to a clever to a, upgrade the brothel to a pleasure gardens to help the native peoples come into the fold. So our attacks have gone rather well here in Narun. There's a couple of troops moving about, but we're rebuilding the garrison, and obviously yeah. Jules Bertie is, hol is holding the south. If they attempt to attack Umakot, we can draw them into a river battle. And that'll be rather good. Elsewhere in Britain, obviously we've positioned, or are positioning, troops for the potential attack on the, uh, the Danish Empire. Yes, you're going to go to Ridley Dawes. I mean, apparently you... Cavalryman. Should you be going up to him? He's short one cavalry unit, so I'm going to assume so. One cavalry unit, so it's four artillery units. In which case, then it's probably going to make one of these a howitzer. Although it looks like I can't actually get... Oh, well, there it is. Or is that you? Oh, that is you. You've already got two houses on the way. Very well. Looks like you could probably stand to lose... Oh no, I'm an idiot. That was going to be their compliment. Very well. You come back to Paris. We've got an army here waiting to push at Copenhagen. We've got an army here ready to hit Stockholm. An army here to push... Or maybe just sail around, sail up to Iceland. But we do have an army over here as well. To hit Finland. Um, elsewhere, we can start to repair these buildings that are now behind our lines. And we can push on to Kiev. Ready for order. So march within range. Oh, Cameron Napier, ready short. Ready. A unit, so it's going to have to be Richie Compton who pushes in. You can't actually take the city yet, but you can march within range. Elias Oldfield hold ground. Obviously, Curtis Patterson. Which this is our named force. Curtis can march on to Crimea. George Wade is replenishing. So probably want to take Jude Abba and smash one of these Ottoman forces. Obviously we've got Istanbul by the Knackers. You're pushing up. We repelled, or we've got a, we do have a Ottoman force on the march. So let's probably take Mr. Abbott yes, and attack Memel Ismail. Attack this concentration of troops and try and send them back towards the capital. Fortunately, we have no replenishment. Or no, su no support, but I don't think it's going to be needed based on this army composition. So let's attack and destroy this concentration of Ottoman troops. There's an argument that says maybe I shouldn't do that until I've taken Istanbul, but I don't think it's going to change the price of fish. I think we're going to be able to uh, take their capital city without too much bother. But let's see. First of all, we have to... Uh, we have to defeat this Ottoman army, and obviously it's raining. So our guns are going to hunker back on the higher ground. My infantry, which by this point is actually quite experienced, is going to advance up the hill. I'm going to get some Hessian Jaegers, my Hessian Jaegers and my light infantry to push the left. And their advance is going to be screened by my by unit of pikemen. Another unit of pikemen is going to advance up the other flank as well. Here's a bit more cavalry to make sure that happens. The howitzers deploy further up. Dropping quicklime. 
focus fire quick climb right there onto all that um, cavalry in the centre. So much so I'm actually going to watch these traps fire and hit this just cluster. We might not hear any sound. Still a good number of losses. Their foot artillery is in bad shape. Advance my pikes. Advance my light infantry. Fire it well off. My infantry line. Advance at high speed. Push my pikes and my cavalry up the other flank. Jude Abbott himself can advance. Advance my cav my pikemen up quickly. Let's pick my new pick my new quick climb targets. Artillery is going down. Get my horse guards up here as well. Zimindori horsemen, Sipahi, Zimindori horsemen, general's bodyguard. Yeah, pikes are plenty. I know they can't help but they can't help but be attracted to my lure of skirmish infantry. Charge my cavalry into the musketeers on that flank. Whoa. Yeah, I thought I picked some random unit. You men take position. Pikemen advance, same with my heavy cavalry, my infantry is engaging, which means my pikemen, my sk skirmishers can advance to this section of the high ground and fire into the left flank of the enemy line. Cavalry charging its fellow musketeers isn't bad news. This unit's fire at will. So the enemy battle line has been met. Let's pick some slightly better targets. So you blast that unit of Semini, you blast the unit of Janissaries, and you men blast the Nizam on the left. Ooh, okay, you're shooting into the cavalry battle. Bad. So you men, guard mode on. Engage the Nizam light infantry on the left. So you are going to charge into the Nizam that's trying to flank around there. The Semini are wavering, and that's going to allow us to advance up to the high ground. These two units both attack the Zimindari horsemen on the flank, because they should have probably firing into the back of this combat. The Sipahi are going to break. Kyrosia chase down the horsemen. Swiss pikes spin around and hit the Zimindari horsemen. And also they're trying to push through this forest area with Falene Musketeers, but that's not enough to break my line infantry. Yeah, these Falene Musketeers are broken. Charge to hit that unit. Actually, surround that Semini unit instead. Let's take a quick climb unit to attack that unit of Nizam, and you can attack that unit of Nizam. Firing volleys into the mass charge on the left flank. These skirmishers attack their skirmish units. Should probably take a few losses there. Curiosier hitting the Felling Musketeers was a bit of a bad call. But overall, I think it's a good decision to weaken this unit of Janissaries by surrounding them with pokes on one flank and infantry on another. Quick Lime's coming in and doing some devastating damage to the 8th. Mass charge on the left, need to be careful of. Time to swing the cavalry in. My skirmishers. Oh, okay, so my skirmishers push up to the high ground. Pikes charge into the block at this block of enemy troops. Got a cavalry charge. Swing our infantry round. Some felling musketeers that are routed but came back. Our cavalry is looking upset on the right flank, but it looks like we're probably about to dominate everywhere else. 
So this line infantry unit can fire, can form up here to engage both the square and the light infantry. A cavalry of one here, so let's bring them into the rear of the enemy formation. Get a howitzer to engage the musketeers on the flank. You push up to surround their, their right flank. Yeah, the cavalry unit's upset. To be honest, they've been fighting. They fought their way all themselves all the way down to such a tiny portion of their unit. You men also engage the musketeers on the right flank. The cavalry still charging. You men form up. Well, they've been pushed back. So once that mounted Nizam unit has been broken. First of all, pikes get back. So let's take these three units. Deploy them like so. My cavalry up, to, up on the, to the flank here. You men get to the rear of these janissaries and charge into them. So some limber howitzers. Skirmishers get ready to fire at will. Delhi horsemen try and chase down my cuirassier. E-men smash into the sec ban. So the last unit of feline musketeers left. New men advance up like so. All my artillery mass against the Delhi horsemen. Howitzers push up. All of you charge into that unit of Feleen. So maybe my marines better get stuck in there. You're running the wrong way. Still running the wrong way. Let's do it manually. We're bombarding the crap out of their Delhi horsemen. Shooting the crap out of them too. This unit of Feline won't stand. No, they will, they will not. Let's get you guys all over here towards the unit of Nizam in case things get a bit dicey there. form up or push the line up to engage the first order yeah this Delhi horseman unit is taking up a lot of enemy fire which isn't ideal but hopefully they should they should break fairly soon Oh, there we go. I charge in against the Nizam on the on the flank. There goes the sandwich between Royal Marines and an absolute horde of British infantry. Let's hold on to them and then right click when they're engulfed. Thirty horsemen are on the flank here. So let's take out my melee troops. Form line. Cavalry continue to engage, Swiss pikes hold back, so who's coming in? Bodyguard, artillery, artillery, artillery. Yeah, they're coming in as well. Got our cavalry up to safety. Everyone else is forming up to engage this unit, which it looks like they're about to break. I mean, they're brave souls, but there's not a lot they can do. Let's get our artillery limbered up. So let's take these three units to be our new centre.
So our artillery wants to get up here. Well, actually, you got to be careful because they have spikes. We do want to push into enemy territory, so let's keep the pikes up close. Push up to the crest of the hill. Keep pushing up the howitzers, because where they are now is no good. There you go. You men skirmish away. You will take a few lives of my men, but once they form up and begin to pour volley fire into your formation, you will be done for. We have cartridges for all. Yeah, it was a good volley at point blank range. When this unit about faces. There's a unit of Muslim. Ooh. And yeah, they're going to open up, and that's going to go badly for you at such close range. And, and it did. Get these two units to drop into square. Cavalry charge. But it looks like they're going to skirmish their way in. These Muslim. Oh, they're going to charge the flank where my mar marines are. Bad call. Skirmishes are engaging the cavalrymen. Yeah, that didn't help there. Get my Swiss pikes over. To another general. So these pikes are going to clear out this, ho this horse unit pretty rapidly. And they're already skirmish covering these are armoured pikes. Armoured Swiss pikemen. So they can push on into that unit of Muslim. You men get out of position. Artillery is getting into position here. The guns can get up to here at least. Yeah, lost a couple of guys to Nizam. Hey, first order Nizam. Let's get you out of the way. So this how it's a unit attack the first on the flank. General's bodyguard, eh? There we go. Yeah, first quick climb shots have slammed home. Not quite as devastating as I would have liked. Let's get Mr. Abbott up here as well. This mortar team is also in range. He will be focusing on the fourth order. Just currently under withering musket fire, but it looks like we're in a bit of a defilade here, so they don't get they do not have a good line of fire. My marines are going to make ready and engage. The first. Quick climb inbound. 24 pounders lost two of their artillery teams and they're going to retreat. The first are going to be breaking soon. There they go. You men can soon reload and engage this unit of Semini. Our Bosnian Panduks are beginning to skirmish my 
are the troops. It looks like there might be the last of their men coming in on the field, which will be pretty handy. I mean, the fourth won't stick around for very long, surely. Advance that flank, because these units here are more than enough to attack this unit of Semini. Go on, regiment of foot. Engage. There they go. And this flank form up. Ooh, you got you guys formed up a bit funky. Go and switch one of our well, get both of our howitzers to focus on the Bosnian Panduks, Panduks, Panduks. Our gunners here, when they trundle into position, can unlimber, and they can all focus on bombarding the howitzer unit chiefly. There we go. You men form up on that flank. Get our Swiss pikes in against the Bosnian Panducks. It's got a light infantry inside the building. Hello. They took the bait. All of you just dump into squares. These two units charge the Bosnians. Cease fire with the artillery. Ooh, pretty close on that flank. Hello. My pike should absolutely rip their way through these skirmishes. Taking the you've taken the buildings, huh? these guys come back that's the bigger killer more than anything it's their damn units that come back and get up to no good in the rear push the pikes attack the artillery all oh, my artillery cease fire They're going to charge into the flank of the Semini, then my pikemen are going to hit them, which means these guys can then probably... Yes. Make sure they're out of square. Push up to threaten this Nizam unit, because we're going to surround... Well, not surround them, we're going to fire on them from different flanks. The Semini should go down pretty quick to my pike attack. These crewmen should not last that long either. There we go, they're starting to understand what's going to happen to them. Nope, they have been routed. Good stuff, so we did wear, me, wear my army down quite significantly, but we have other troops in the area. That's what matters. Let's end the battle there for a heroic victory for the forces under Jude Abbott. There we go, we lost a unit, and that's a unit of cavalry. Yeah, they've scattered their army. So Mr. Abbott, replenish. And recruit a unit of cuirassier. Good stuff. Bulgaria isn't entirely happy with us, but let's get a dragoon unit that'll sort them out. So then here we're gonna recruit a Church school and a craft workshop. Let's upgrade the farms as well. Upgrade you to a trade port. Upgrade the fishery because it doesn't not in, doesn't entirely impact us. Repair. We'll build two light galleys to garrison these ports. Obviously you're within range of Istanbul, but we can't take it. You're going to hold here, Vincent Bristow. Uh, Mr. Hardy, can you leave Bosnia? 
You can indeed. So Mr. Hardy may go to India. So here at Ragusa, we're going to build a sixth rate. And he's going to sail to India because he's not likely to be needed in this campaign. I mean, I'm tempted to leave them. See if they want to attack Baghdad and just take Mr. Bosley. Murphy Bosley, give him an order to attack Yerevan. Ignore their armies in the field. Go after their cities for the Ottomans. And then in the Americas, things are... No, they're still just waiting. Yeah, you're being raised to attack the Inuit and so on. Just as we still have armies here placed to bring home final deliverance against Russia. In terms of tech, percussion cap in four turns is still on the cards. I mean, in terms of prestige, like, yeah, according to, see, so, someone who's been asking me, Mr. Knight, you've been asking me about prestige, and look, according to this, we are only just within, you know, we're only just higher than the Ottomans as far as military goes. They own Istanbul, these fractures of units, and this. So clearly we're not comparable, but there must be a certain amount of it being um, how far down the military track they've got, and the capability production maybe. I don't know, it kind of sounds a bit odd. Um, but let's hit N10. Our armies are continuing to advance. More troops are marching in. Our rakes are marching along. Now, but we are just incredibly dominant. You're not going to move yet. More naval recruitment ongoing. Good stuff. The Ottomans are combining their forces. I mean, if they wanted to take Bulgaria, or, uh, yeah, Bulgaria, then that's their prerogative. Um, but I don't think it's going to help them in the long term. Because in two turns, both of their, all of their remaining cities are going to be within range. So, yikes. That's right. Come and try and steal my technology. And you can break my buildings if you like. So the main focus is, going, is pushing in India. They are still capable of doing some surprises. The Goa garrison can... Ooh. I can trigger an attack. Opportunity to intercept this force with my garrison at Goa. And I'm going to say no, because there's an army to the east I want to deal with. Or at the very least, I want to intercept a larger force with what I've got. Hyderabad is now garrisoned. We're going to attack Nerun from the west. Very well, sir. Smart decision. Denmark is probably getting a bit getting a bit uh, anxious about the massive build-up around most of her borders. And yeah, if we attack Reykjavik, I wouldn't even bother fighting it. We'll just auto-resolve it because they have such a small garrison. Elias Dudley. Okay, stay in Lithuania for now. The port emerges are Jack uh, Corsica. So let's build a trading port. Build a light galley. Successful mission. So, oh, it's in Hyderabad. And then trait gained frontier preacher. Plus two to zeal when seeking converts in the Americas. So he's probably 100%ed you. Oh no, damn close though. 21% a turn. The port emerges, we've done. The raids are okay. Let's do a bit of building. We're starting to expand our conversion of the native peoples. And we're starting to build meaningful uh, industry in these regions. Cambridge has now become a weaving town rather than a university town. Let's top two buildings here. Let's upgrade the tea plantations in Bengal because that's what we're most interested in, being British and all. 
some good mines. Let's upgrade the gold mine at Mysore. I mean, this army's ripe to march out to hit you. Keep upgrading buildings. Steam pump mines, yes. Better roads in Transylvania. Oh, Larissa, top tier buildings. New Mexico can get a steam power cloth mill. A couple of roads. Yeah, if you want to push and attack me, you've got a whole army sat here just ready. Sarajevo. Okay, let's take our sixth rate. Alright, Mr. Hardy, get aboard ship. Sail to India. Uh, do, 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 do. We're down in Croatia or Serbia. Well, there actually. No, I must have missed a few. Upgrade. Upgrade you to Palatia the state. Wine estates are done. Upgrade. Croatian ports, that was two of them that were done. Yep, yeah, we've done both of them. Upgrade the new iron mine. Looks like they have gone on the offensive near Bulgaria, but it's not going to really help them. Ah. You guys were upset for a reason, so let's just get you guys over there. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Moldavia, we've done. Moldavia is where we are currently. Yeah. So these guys are here to stop them from any of these armies running south and doing this. At least catching us out too badly. And you're going to still push on to Crimea instead of our named force. We have a named force here. We have, a, we have a, uh, an army under here. That's Hamish Boyle's army. Excellent. Okay. So, sailed to Bombay. Put Satara under siege. I mean, aspirationally, they could potentially capture a Madnagar, then march on Satara, but let's just march on Satara off the bat. I'm pretty sure everyone's everything's been done from a everything's been done from a building perspective for now. Lots of our upgrades here aren't quite ready yet. Mr. Croucher, put Hyderabad under siege. Upgrade the government building, roads are upgrading, yes. Elias Haskett. Push on to Push on to Akbarabad, and then you are gonna push on to Eugene, maybe. Then once you've taken Hyderabad, you can push on to Nagpur. This force under Eugene can push out of Mysore. Minus eight. Let's get our Dragoons in there. Down to minus five. Oh no, Sepoys. Dragoons. Get over there. Minus four. Yeah, it should help. It should start to help actually getting all those troops. And it'll be the first turn they'll have, they'll have experienced um, unrest. But Mr. Denman is going to push north, hit Gajanad Kaur, this chap, and push them north. But looking at the timer, we're pretty close to the end of this episode, and I've already fought two decent engagements, two decent engagements against the, against, um, the Marathas. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to end it there, end the episode here. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you next time for yet more offensives in India because you've got to fight here. Take Hyderabad. Take Satara, fight near Baghdad, push the Ottomans away from um, push the Ottomans away from Bulgaria. Just lots of good stuff in general. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.